Hi, I'm Vince with Barco, and today we're going to talk about the new features of EventMaster 5.1. As always, you can find a full list of these features in a What's New file located in your download package. You can find that download package here. First, we're happy to announce that we're shipping our Tricombo output card as of January 2018. With the Tricombo output card, you can output 4K at 60 on one cable. Just like the Tricombo input card, this card includes the latest connector types, HDMI 2.0, DisplayPort 1.2, and 12G SDI. Remember, both Tricombo input and Tricombo output cards support legacy connector types as well, such as Quad SDI. As of 5.1, you can now populate EXs with a number of card combinations, such as loading one VPU and one I.O. card. In the next few weeks, we'll be coming out with a series of videos that goes over all of the EXs' expanded functionality with the S3 and E2. So please subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all of the new EX features. The cut and fill key can now utilize PNGs with transparency. After you import your PNG with transparency, you'll notice it is now marked with a T. When you have an active cut and fill key layer, simply drag the PNG to that layer and as you can see, a prompt will appear. For PNGs with transparencies, you want to select the both option. The system will automatically detect the transparency as the cut signal and the non-transparent portion of the image as the fill input. We've added an awesome new feature that allows you to view AOI on the programming page. To enable or disable this feature, the button can be found here. By popular demand, we've added an auto layout input safety. This way, you won't destroy that Mona Lisa of multi-views that you spent 45 minutes creating. If you do click the Auto Layout Input button, this prompt will appear. We will release a special video where the Product Manager of Image Processing, a one Mr. Eric Iverson, will take you through an extensive deep dive look at some of the big changes we're rolling out with the new software. AUX output rotation is now available. Here's where you can find the controls. You can now save custom formats. You can do this by going to these locations. These can be saved and then reapplied to inputs, outputs, and even EDIDs. Good news for our Mac users, the simulator is now available for Mac OS. That's it for 5.1. Remember to subscribe for more videos on the EXs and the Product Manager Special. Until next time, I'm Vince with Barco. Have a great new year.